Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head up to Boros to the east of Gothenburg here in Sweden. And this is a brewery who can be quite difficult to get a hold of actually. They don't release many beers into Sistian Belogit so I'm glad that I managed to get this one for you. So today we are going to do my first review from Sotipoya who are another one of the kind of specialist sour beer breweries here in Sweden. Of course the well known ones are probably Brewski and Brickeriot. Both of them are exporting their beers these days, but these guys are very, very well regarded. And today we're going to have a taste of the Root Mint into Soot, which is a 4.4% Berliner Weiss, and it's brewed with raspberries. So it should be really nice. This beer is 95 overall on rate beer and 92 within the style. And generally, the Satipaya beers do have a very, very good rating. So I'm really glad that I managed to get a hold of one of these to review for you on the channel. And hopefully I can do more in the near future. And I hope you guys enjoy the review as well. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward as always. There's all the usual social media in the description below. The link to the brewery and to my future reviews that I can do from Salty Point as well. And please do check out the sake and whiskey reviews that are in there as well. And as always, do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. Always interesting to hear from you guys and your support and input to the channel is hugely appreciated. Do let me know some other sour beer breweries that I should check out as well because I've not done all that many of them on the channel for you so it would be interesting to have some recommendations for that. But anyway, to tell you a little bit about Satipaya then. So Satipaya are based in Boros to the east of Gothenburg in Sweden as I told you earlier but the company was founded by Timo Krikov who actually works in IT with Volvo. He still works full time with Volvo actually and kind of dedicates his spare time to running Satipaya. But he actually started home brewing in around 2010 in his garage and he really enjoyed it and after visiting various exhibitions and filling in all the paperwork which you know in Sweden is a very common theme actually he managed to get the brewery up and running in late 2014 and he produced the first beers from his new brew kit in February of 2015 but he actually really enjoys brewing the Berliner Weiss styles because he said that you can really alter these so much you know you can add fruit you can add a whole host of different things to them but he does brew most of these Berliner Weisses with American hops as well because he really likes the kind of fruity character and like I said to you, these guys are kind of specialists in brewing sour beers as well. But the brewery actually also produce meats and ciders, and they have a 400 litre brew kit, which has, and they have six 700 litre fermentation tanks, all of which was brought in from China. As I think it's a very similar system to Dugas, they were saying in the article that I read. But apparently these guys don't have a bottling machine, so they only release their beers very kind of rarely to Sistia and Belaga because they do have to do the bottling by hand. So this is why you don't really see many beers in Sistia and Belaga from Salty Poya yet. But hopefully in the near future they can get a bottling machine and get more of their beers out. A lot of them, I think, at the moment are simply produced for cask and they're found, of course, in Gothenburg probably and a lot of the different restaurants and things but they are very highly regarded and hopefully we will see more from them in the very near future so yeah and um, they don't really have I think they do have a kind of core range of beers that they produce but as I say they're all on keg so they weren't listed on the website for me to tell you about as I usually do in the reviews but yeah this should be a really interesting beer as I said 95 overall on rate beer 92 within the style I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork of this one before we open it up there you are there you can see the guy just pouring the beer from the barrel. But yeah, it says on the side here, established 2014. So Satipoya, of course, was established officially in 2014. You can see it's a plain bottle cap on this one. And it does say on the side it's a fresh Berlin of Ice with a nice kind of sour. It's a yeah, fresh Berlin of Ice with a sour wheat beer. And it's got tones of raspberries and a really nice kind of taste to it. And it says you should pair this one with, uh, with fish, apparently. I'm not sure what the rest of it says. You can pair it with fish or fresh fruit. So yeah, that's as I say, Berliner Weiss is uh, his favourite style. So we'll give this guy a go and see how we get on. Definitely looking forward to reviewing this one for you then. So here we go. Oh, nice smoky opening on this one. And we'll get it out and into the glass. Oh, you can smell the raspberries on this. Really, you can smell those. Very nice smelling beer, this. So yeah, that's poured a really kind of bright yeah, it's a kind of bright orangey amber colour, this one. I'll see if I can bring it over to the wall. You can see that colour there. It's a really rich orange amber colour. This one, there's a there's a finger of a frothy kind of white head on that. Some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass. But it does look kind of spritzy in terms of its carbonation. If I put my fingers behind the glass, there is a degree of transparency, but I'm not sure how well you guys can see that on the camera there. 
but it does have some kind of degree of transparency although it is kind of opaque at the same time but yeah when you're moving this beer around it really does smell like raspberries it's got a really fresh raspberry aroma to it so let's have a closer look at that oh yeah <laughs> definitely it reminds me actually of the little raspberry yogurts my mum used to put in my packed lunch when I went to school it really does smell like those uh, the munch bunch yogurts that we get back home I don't think you get those in Sweden though it really does remind me of the munch bunch raspberry yogurts actually so yeah a lot of raspberry in this one really quite juicy as well it's not as sharp as some of the sours I've had before underneath though you can pick up the wheat character in this beer there's almost a little bit of a rhubarb note coming out of this one it reminds me of kind of the rhubarb rock that we have back in Scotland you always get rhubarb flavoured rock and this beer reminds me a little bit of that there's a little bit of a kind of bready character in there too and maybe a little bit of grassiness just a little bit of a grassy maybe slightly floral hoppy character but really the nose is dominated by these nice juicy raspberries in this one it's actually a lovely smelling beer this I love the smell of raspberries so for me this one just kind of hits the spot in terms of the aroma but it's lovely, lovely, lovely smelling beer. So take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma from this one. There maybe is a little bit of a kind of candied red fruit ester coming out of this one as well. As I always say, these kind of candied red fruit esters, they remind me of the, of the heart-shaped sweets in the Haribo Star Mix. You can get a little bit of that from this beer, but really the nose is dominated by these lovely, um, by these lovely raspberry notes. It does have this almost yogurty smell to it as well. Reminds me of these munch bunch yogurts that my mum used to give me, as I was saying. But yeah, really lovely smelling beer. Just take a little bit of time and enjoy this before you actually try it for yourself. But it smells amazing. So yeah, let's get stuck into this beer then. This is the Root Mint Into Suit, red but not sweet, from Satipoya up in Boros here in Sweden. Let's get stuck into this guy. Skål. Oh yeah, that's nice actually. You know this one, I've always found with sour beers, some of them can be really quite puckering. I mean of course for some people, the, the more sour you get, the better it is. But for me, I like just a little bit of that sourness and then just have the nice juicy fruity characters. This one really does kind of hit the spot well for me. I can see why it's quite highly rated. Sour beers I think are a bit of an acquired taste. And it took me a little time, a little bit of time to actually get into them and see, you know, what they're all about. But this one is good. Yeah, this is nice. You know, obviously it does take your mouth a little bit of time to adjust to the acidity in this beer. But you know, after that, once you get over that kind of initial sharpness from it, it really is a very nice beer. This. So yeah. The middle of your palate, of course, it is a Berliner Weiss as the base beer. So you can pick up, you know, you've got that nice, smooth, wheaty base to this one. There's a little bit of thicker, bready character on top of it as well. And I am picking up a little bit of a kind of rhubarb flavour in this one. Which I don't remember getting from any other Berliner Weisses that I've had before. But you can, for me, you can pick up a little bit of that rhubarb flavour in the middle of the palate on this beer. But yeah, this is really, really nice. Certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this again. I do think when they can produce beers like this, it is a bit of a shame that they don't release so many of them in bottles. So maybe I'll just need to make an extra effort to try some of these beers when I'm up in Gothenburg, actually. But this is really good. So yeah, with this one, the fruity character is interesting. You get a little bit of a grassy and floral aspect to it around the edge of your palate. Of course, the edge of the palate is where the hops are going to come out for me really is quite grassy and floral but you can feel that almost citricky kind of acidity coming out of this one but if you just go behind the front curve of the tongue you get the raspberry flavours but you can feel them on this beer just kind of spreading around the front edge of the tongue. One of the key differences you always notice with beer if there's fruit added to the brew you always get a kind of juicier feel around the edge of your palate. It's less, it's less dry. Where the hops normally come out, your palate feels a little bit wetter. And when they add fruit to the brew, you get that juicy character on the edge of your tongue. And you can feel that in this one. But yeah, this is nice. I love raspberry flavours. 
So for me, this beer really does kind of hit the spot. And I can see what uh, what he was talking about when he when I was reading the article there, what Timo was saying because it's it, it really is you can taste that Berliner Weiss in there and of course these are the beers that are famous for putting the syrups in them and it really is cool how you can alter the flavours by putting these different syrups so I can see why he likes having this kind of base style to work with and then playing around with it and adding a lot of different things. You know what, it would be really nice to try this beer with a bit of vanilla ice cream I think and then put a kind of raspberry coulis or something like that on it, I think it would go very very well with that as well because it almost, you know this beer it does, it really for some reason reminds me of these yogurts that my mum gave me, the, the, the raspberry munch bunch yogurts, it does have an almost yogurty flavour to it a little bit this one which is quite interesting, maybe it's just the rhubarb flavour actually that's given it that, that, that kind of impression but it really is very nice. Mm. It's not this beer it has very kind of set flavours, it's not such a complex one but the way that the flavours come out in this are very very nice, the raspberry is really nice, the wheaty malt base with the bready character is lovely as well, a bit of the rhubarb and there is just that little bit of kind of grassy hop and of course the, the kind of acidity, the very kind of citricky acidity character that you get from this one comes out just nicely, it just sits there in the aftertaste, the aftertaste of course is a little bit of that almost yogurty rhubarb character I'm talking about, the raspberry flavours are sitting there behind the front curve of the tongue too and you've got this nice sort of bready feel to it but overall this is a really really quite nice beer, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this one again that's for sure, so hopefully I can get some more from Salty Foya for you in the near future. Mm. Lovely stuff. Right, in terms of the mouthfeel this one I'd say, as is usually the case with uh, with sour beers, this one is definitely light bodied. It's got a good little bit of spritzy carbonation which does suit it. That helps bring out some of the raspberry flavours. It comes in with a bit of an attack and then it smooths out and becomes a little bit more juicy. The malt base in this one really is quite smooth. There's a good bit of that kind of citricky tart character, but like I say, it kind of mellows out as you go later into the beer and you just feel a little bit of it on the edge of your palate in the aftertaste but really it's a very nice beer, the hoppy character and it's very smooth as well, there's a little bit of fruity character from there but overall this is a really really good beer. I maybe would go as far as saying this could be one of the best sour beers that I've had actually because um, I mean you do get these these IPAs that are brewed with the Britannomyces and things but this one is a straight up, it is a straight up sour beer and for me in that category this is the best one I've had so far so it, it does, I think it does deserve its rating of 95 that it has on rate beer so if you do get the chance to try this one I highly recommend you do and if you see any bottles from Sati Poya I would recommend that you pick them up because they are quite difficult to find and it is a very highly rated brew and on the basis of this beer I can certainly see why so yeah been really cool to do my first review from these guys hopefully they release another beer into Sisti and Belaga sometime soon because I would love to review more of them for you as I said please do recommend me some other sour beers that you guys would like to see me review it would be Cool to have some more recommendations in that regard, but the Root Mint Into Suit is a very, very good beer. I'd recommend this for people who really love raspberries because it's got that lovely raspberry flavour to it. So, yeah, check out anything you can from this brewery, they seem to be very, very good. Until the next time, thank you for watching my beer reviews. Do like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your own thoughts on this brewery and the beer in the comment section below if you've tried anything from these guys. Always interesting to hear from you. But until the next time, it's landed just now, and I will catch you very soon. The Root Mint Into Suit from Satipaya up in Boros here in Sweden. A really, really good sour beer. One of the best ones I've tried on the channel. Until the next time, it's landed just now, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Cheers.